Hello and welcome to my channel. It is Sunday the 6th of October and it is time for another whip and chat. Yes, you can see the end of Arya's Dark here. It's the top uh, part and I hope there's going to be a lot of black because my color seems to uh, be ending. Um, there's one color here. This 37.99. Uh, there's quite a lot uh, of this color. Uh, I think still to be used and there's not a lot left and there are some trash drills in there as well so I think I'm gonna run out of those but I've already checked out a place in England I I will order some if I do run out but I actually think I am anyway let's pick a color I'm gonna pick X Let's see, I usually show you guys. So this is the symbol I'm gonna do. It's 3371. And I've just been out with my dogs and it's kind of cold outside. So my nose is running, I apologize for that. I can't do anything about it. So yeah, how you doing? <laughs> oh yes, I've been off work since Thursday. So I've been off for five days. No, that's a lie four days and yesterday I actually worked extra for six hours but it doesn't feel like I have been doing that and I've been just enjoying my time taking taking it easy doing my crafting diamond painting doing unboxing videos, editing. Inktober started last week. No, this week. So I've been sketching and filming and yes, pulling my hair because it's so difficult to sketch. And I so badly want to be, you know, great at it and I'm not and let me move this cable. And I'm thinking a lot about it because, yeah, I'm still waiting on my uh, watercolor materials to come in. I really want to start, you know, seriously. Uh, start to paint and the kind of pictures I want to paint includes drawing and sketching so I can't you know get around it I really seriously have to be able to you know I, I want to be able to draw buildings yeah just buildings would be nice because then I can paint the the land landscapes or the cityscapes around it, you know. So I found some new um, YouTubers to follow who are painters, and oh my God, they're like oh, they're amazing. I just. I can't get enough of it, you know. 
and I'm just thinking, I know, I know it takes a lot of training to get there, but some people, I think, it doesn't matter how hard you train and how long you try, you won't become that good. So, yeah, that's me. I think I'm already, you know, in my mind, I've already made up my mind that I'm not going to be able to make it. So that's a bad start, right? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take their, their videos as inspiration and just, you know, find my own um, style, I think. Yeah. Yep. I see I have forgotten some of those. I usually start doing the black and then I continue with the other colors but somehow I decided to do it the other way oh what color was this now me in these colors oh my god 33 so yeah I oh, yeah last weekend now I remember last weekend mm -hmm, I remember telling you guys about these watercolor brushes which I tried to order from the States and they told me I couldn't because of some law yeah so I started you know I just I just thought it can be possible that it's impossible to get those bloody water brushes you know watercolor brushes I really want those silver brush black velvety things and I googled and googled and found quite a few places and I started mailing these people can you send it to Sweden can you send it to Sweden and I actually got a, quite a few of yes, we actually do. And it's just going to cost you like $25. And then there's taxes and stuff on that. But that was quite okay, actually. So I'm not sure if they don't know about that law that that other place was talking about. I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> but the great thing is that I found a place in England in London maybe who actually have them and are shipping to Sweden and it's free shipping it feels like I've, I've, I've told you guys about this anyway 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 so I'm waiting for a package. Oh yes, I'm waiting for a package. I have been wanting for years, I'm telling you, years. And yep, I hope I won't have to wait forever for it. <laughs> I'm very impatient. And the stamp I'm getting, I made that unboxing of, um, yeah, these stamping blocks and the ink. So I'm waiting for that stamp and it's still, I think, in Los Angeles and it's gonna take forever to get here. Yeah. You know, when you're waiting for something, I was like that when it came to, um, Diamond Art Club as well. I was very eager to get those um, diamond painting kits. I saw an X. Oh, there's cr hello. More. Yeah. There's a 
another one of those. I'm running out of cards. This is stressing me out. That I'm running out of colors. And I really don't want to uh, use these uh, trash drills with all these bits and pieces on the sides. But I'm thinking that uh, if I don't use them, you know, and I then I will run out. There's another X. Oh. Is this what I'm gonna do all the evening? Fill in symbols I forgot or which I missed. Where was it? There. So yeah, did I get something? I got a package Monday. I got this. My new cover minder from Rachel Ray and her Etsy store. I will link the store if I remember. Yep. Okay, let's move on to something else. I should go black. I should go black, but I don't feel like going black, but I should. No, let's do those, these squares. It's a 317. Also running out of that color. And I was thinking, yeah, it's okay. It's all black at the top of the picture, but it's not. I mean, I'm like here. So it's, yeah, it's like just above her eyes. So I have all the hair and the hand and there's a lot still, and uh, it's not just black. And I know I've been kind of messing up with the colors, pouring them in the wrong bin, and you know, and I have been picky. I've, where's my trash? Where's my trash? So, yeah, this is my trash bin but I mean it's not is it a lot I don't know but I just no I didn't want to use the ones with all the pieces on the sides because I know that that will make the drills pop and I refuse to use those uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway, there's still a lot to to do, right? So, but if I run out, I will just have to order and start on another pa painting. I have plenty. Just, you know, that feeling of never finishing anything. So yeah, I think I got that cover minder uh, Monday. And I just tore it open. <laughs> I, uh, I should have, you know, taken it easy and maybe showed you the unboxing but yeah whatever oh yeah and I got three new diamond art club painting as, as well and I got them for my um, 
these points you save up. So I didn't pay a lot. I think I paid for shipping and uh, uh, what do you call that? The taxes and stuff. And it were it was three of uh, Graham Gurkin's paintings. So there's only one left of his which I really want, but I think I'm gonna skip it. I've missed it so many times. It's been sold out each time I'm gonna purchase it. Um, so now I'm thinking I just, it's not meant to be. There are other kits I rather want, I think. I really want to try out Royal Diamond Painting. And they've been having so many sales now. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is very hard to not buy. And I can't buy any this month because I bought those watercolor stuff. And yeah, it is time to, you know, uh, uh, service the car. And I think I need some new brakes on the car as well. And we all know that that ain't cheap. So, so it's, oh, it's so, it's so difficult to not, you know, press that buy button. Uh, well, today I saw, or was it yesterday maybe, that that sale, which I really wanted to buy stuff from uh, Royal Diamond Painting, uh, it was like you know, buy two and get one for free, or buy one, get one. So that, I mean, and I don't want, want these small kits, I want the big, big ones. And I think they cost around oh, 200 American dollars for those big kits, which I really want. And <clears throat> so that means even if I would get two, those ones that are like 100 centimeters times 140 and 100 colors, you still have to pay $200 for two. That's a lot of money. So, but then I saw yesterday or today that that sale has ended, thank God. And now you can get one for and buy one, no, you have 35% off of any uh, order. So that's not ha half price, of course, but it's still nice. It's very nice, but I'm, I'm have to, I have to wait. But there, it's the one, um, the stitch in time painting that I really want. I will just have to wait. Yeah, so I'm just randomly putting out, putting drills on that black square symbol as I see them. I usually would like want some kind of system mm, so I don't miss that many. But since I'm doing everything backwards, than I used to. Yep. It's just gonna go as it goes. I think 
it is time to restart the camera. Yeah, and uh, I've seen that uh, quite a few are starting to get their custom uh, diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. That's really very exciting and interesting. I never ordered uh, one, um, so but I'm I'm really looking forward to see uh, the others. Um, the other YouTubers especially, their unboxings and, you know, their uh, post reviews to see uh, what they thought about it. And also very exciting to see if Diamond Art Club is going to improve the kits in any way. I don't know, they, what I've seen, they look really nice so far so uh, I think that if you want like the detail and the picture like paintings where you can't tell if it is a diamond painting or not I think you actually need to go to the size I'm having on artist dark where it's uh, it's 80 by 105. I seriously think you have to do that. But that's just me. Yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun to follow along on this development, I guess you would call it. Yeah, so I mentioned my car, right? Every year at this time of year, I need to uh, yeah, service my car, you know, uh, they go through it and check out filters and oil and electrics and brakes and yeah they they look over the car and then you know uh, there's some basic stuff that they do fill up and change and stuff so and then um, yeah, last year I had to change the brakes at the front and I'm I think I need to change it on on in the back this year because uh also if the car isn't like brand new you have to go through another checkup on the car. I can't I don't know what it's called in English where they also check, you know, safety and stuff and they told me at the beginning of this year that the back brakes were uh, about to yeah be worn out and that's gonna cost me a hell of a lot of money this year I think it's gonna cost me around $900 yeah, that's a lot of fun having a car. Yep. So all my savings. I have to put on that. So no more buying diamond painting in bulk. <laughs> Maybe I can afford one every now and then. Yes, so let's see, so I don't pick the wrong bin. Yeah, I did.
so that sucks. I'm gonna um, turn it in not tomorrow, but the next Monday in a week. Yep. So yeah. Oh, and what else did I get? Oh, yeah. I ordered um, a paint by numbers kit. Uh, Rachel Ray is a an affiliate with the Winnipeg. So I found a beautiful green landscape painting there. And it came yesterday. No, not yesterday. It came the other day. Don't tell my husband. So I'm really looking forward to open that. But I'm going to do an unboxing on that as well. Uh, 14. I'm also running out of that color. So the thing is, if you run out of colors, I'm like, I usually want to, you know, finish a part and then continue to a next section, right? But since I fear that there is more than just one color that's going to run out, I should just finish, I guess, all the drills, all the colors, and then at the end, I should order the drills that I have run out of, I guess. Or what do you think? Because if I order, if one, if I run out of one color now, and I order that one, and then like the next week I run out of another color, I will have to make an order on that one. And then you pay shipping for, you know, each color. And that's not economical, the right way to go, I think. And now I didn't show you what symbol I'm doing. I'm doing this uh, black, uh, thing so it's 414 and i noticed that my wax is almost empty i put wax in this bin i think it's okay but i don't know if it's bad wax i have in this because it feels dry and i have to stick my pen in it like all the time even if i'm pressing hard i just find it a little bit weird or I'm weird I don't know and uh, oh, yeah Victoria's moon contacted me this weekend Asking me if I've started the, the diamond painting and if I'd released the unboxing video. And it's released tomorrow on Monday. It's been on a queue because I have had quite a few unboxings before I got that kit. So I told them that and that I'm, of course, I'm going to do whipping chats for that. And then I was thinking, because I wanted to finish my Aria Stark. I want to finish The Woman and the Wolf. I want to fin start a Christmassy painting. But I remember how nice that unboxing was from Victoria's Moon and how nice that lion looked and the colors of those drills and they actually provided me with that kit for free to make a review and also not just an unboxing review but you know like whip and shots and stuff 
So I feel like, yeah, I owe it a bit, you know, to them, of course. Um, so I'm gonna pri I am prioritizing that kit. So I kitted it up and that was a lot of fun. You know, all the drills came in plastic bags it was so easy and fast and the, the drills looked so nice and the colors were just amazing so I've made a kidding up video on that um, so go take a look at that please if you want to see how I planned on doing that kit or how, how I'm planning on organizing it anyway. So that was really nice. It's always fun. I love to start projects. Even when I was uh, cross stitching, I'm not doing that at a moment because I'm diamond painting, but it will come back. And then I uh, stitch on my heaven and earth designs. And I just love to kit those up, you know, all that preparation and, you know, finding out maybe sometimes you want to try a new way to organize stuff and a new way to stitch. And yeah, oh, it's so fun. So that was really nice to kit up. Mm -mm -mm. And those bags, let me show you. I'm using, oh, look at all that dog hair. I'm using these bags, right? I have dog hair everywhere. So I'm using such a bag with those uh, plastic bottles. Really nice. And it's the large bottles. I love them. I have a few of those bags, but the other bags I have has the medium. Um, the medium bottles. So, but I, I like those very much. I just noticed I need some washi tape here. But if you, if you're kidding up one of those um, uh, kits where you get the small bags, like from AliExpress, you get like 60 of them when it's the black color or something. It's gonna take time to kit up. Absolutely, that's for sure. But still, it's so much fun. You know, you can either watch some YouTube while you're doing it or listen to an audiobook or listen to music. Talking about that, I am almost done with third season of 13 Ways. That's the name. It's so good. And I have one episode left. And now I'm going to find out who. Yeah, spoiler alert who killed um Jesus what's his name Parker Parker yeah the rapist anyway 
And I actually thought, I still think no one has killed him. I think he commits suicide. But time will tell. So this evening I am gonna enjoy a Ben and Jerry cookie dough and watch that last episode. And when I've eaten that cookie dough, I'm gonna freeze my ass off. So then I need to do, go make myself a cup of coffee. And then I'm gonna fall asleep. And it's Monday tomorrow, it's time for work. And then I need to start eating a little bit healthier. All the pants are getting a little hard to difficult to to button up. Thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. Yes, of course. Inktober. It's day six today, and I've sketched every day. I've tried to inter interpret, interpret, whatever. I've tried to sketch something which uh, has to do with the the prompt word. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I don't explain myself too well in English. English, I'm really sorry. That is also a training thing. If you don't try to speak, you're not gonna learn or get better. There's one more there. Go. There's one there. Yeah, it is fun. It is really fun uh, with the sketching, but it's so hard. It's so difficult. And so far, I have done a. Um, like a time lapse video but then also I've been off work uh, for quite a few days so I hope I'm, I'm gonna be able to do it but it's like it's just day six there's what 24 25 days to go yeah 25 days more so still quite a way and the silly thing is, see, I just pulled them away and I see one, one. I, it's so stupid because since I'm filming, you know, I want the drawing the sketch to be as good as possible. So what I'm doing, I'm like training sketching, 
that image I want to do at first. And I think most of the times that turns out better, of course, than the second try. Where did I see the X? I pointed at it. No, it wasn't there. So that's... Don't do that. And I'm trying to tell myself, don't do that. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, so let's put this here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is my training. I'm like just doing stuff like this. Yeah. And this is the, the result. My so these are the ones I've done. I'm quite happy with the shark actually. So this is a brain freeze. That's a brain, supposed to be a brain on an ice cream. And I built the house and then I made the husky eye. Yeah, but I think that the first tries I did were, turned out better. But hey, I'm doing my best. At least I'm doing it, right? At least I'm actually sketching. I haven't done that for years, you know. Not this much. And re regularly. I think that's important. Anyway, now I'm going to do this symbol. So that's uh, 647. 647. Did you guys see that um, AMSR or something video that Rachel Ray did with the, with the sound of diamond painting? Oh my god, that was so satisfying. Oh, that clicking sound. Click, 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 click. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, I really want to do those videos. I thought it was so cool. Yep. I definitely could fall asleep to that. Not that it's so boring I fall asleep, but it's just so soothing. And at the same time, you're like, I have to go diamond paint now. Yeah, she did a really you know, cool, because she changed camera angles and she changed the sounds. You know, it was the clicking from pull, put it, um, taking the drill and putting it down and the clicking sound of that. And then the sound of, you know, pouring up the drills and shaking that tray. So cool. Rachel, if you watch this, please do more of those videos. Yeah, they were cool. I wonder if there is a lot of work behind it. You know, um, editing and yeah, shooting it and everything. Do I see more of those symbols? Yep. Yeah, so now I wonder if once I get to start painting 
and playing with those colors and go crazy. I wonder if that's gonna take over my crafting time because that's how I I usually am that I like cir circulate so for a period I'm just like gonna diamond paint and then for a period I'm just gonna do cross stitch and then I'm just gonna paint and then I'm just gonna do this and that so I wonder if, or if I can find some balance between it all Yeah, so let me pick another symbol. Uh, let's do... Oh, dog hair. Where? I don't understand. I have so much dog hair. Everywhere. <sighs> uh, let's do Q. I usually do G first. Oh, let's do Q. Where is Q? There. Q is 380. Oh yeah, and I had a gray drill there. I want to put it where it belongs. Could it be a... All the drills are running out. Q, right? Yes, Q. Yeah, I usually don't do that much. I don't go to parties or anything. Now I remember, uh, Wednesday I was supposed to go out with um, a couple of my friends, my working colleagues, but who I also see private. And unfortunately one of them couldn't go uh, because of family stuff. So we cancelled. So that was so sad. We had all been really looking forward to it, but yeah, if you can't, you can't. Um, so next, no, not next week, but the week after, uh, they're actually having a little bit of celebration at work. So we said, let's let's try to hang out then instead. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, after work, all the secretaries um, in that... How do I explain that? Well, let's just say all those secretaries. There's four bosses, so all of their employees, um, they have rented this place called O'Leary's. And we're going to eat and then we can, you know, bowl or play shuffle or something like that. So that's going to be really fun. It's nice to meet your working colleagues uh, in a different environment sometimes and maybe talk about other things than work. So, but instead, um, I took my daughter for um, some coffee at Espresso House after school. And I invited my mom as well. So that was really nice, actually. I know Friday we 
went with our dogs to this girl who cut their uh, claws. We can't do that ourselves. Um, and she's really great at, at it. So that's, um, yeah, my dogs really hate that. And my small one, Billy, he, I mean, he acts as if he's gonna die. Yeah, he's crying and fighting and and then halfway through, he just, you know, just becomes all relaxed and I guess he just gives up. I don't know if he's playing dead or something, <laughs> but uh, I don't understand why they have to, you know, fight it so hard. And it's not that, you know, when we arrive to the house and everything, it's not that they don't want to go in. They they really excited <laughs> of going there. So that's so strange. They're so weird. Yeah, I, I would really like to make a custom of, uh, of those two dogs there, yeah. But, you know, it's about finding a good picture. Is that a G? Yes, I'm sorry if I'm leaning in. It's the overlight which is uh, reflecting in the canvas, so it's a bit hard to see. Was that all the cues? Hmm, I think so. I'm sure I missed one somewhere. So yeah, um, I try to keep up on YouTube, I can't watch everyone, so I have to select. But I really want to know more about Royal Diamond Painting and their square drills. I know rounds are nice and shiny, but I, I like the square. But I don't want bad squares. So if you're watching this video and you have experience with Royal Diamond Paintings square drills, please leave a comment. Tell me about it. If you have a video about it, tell me about it. Because I am I really want to know before I decide if I should actually purchase, purchase such a big expensive uh, painting. So. I'm gonna do G, that's 169, and that's gonna be the last color I'm doing for this video. I don't do much on my spare time, but diamond paint, edit videos, spend time with my family, and support my daughter in her schoolwork and stuff. And she is such a <laughs> calm kid. So she usually don't do any crazy things. I don't have any crazy stories to tell. She just is laid back. She just want to sit with her phone or play some game. Or do some videos on what you call it, TikTok or something like that, Snapchat. Yeah. And she follows her YouTubers on YouTube, so yeah. 
she's hardly out. She just wants to chill after school. She's tired. And again, that new school, she gets a lot of homework and stuff to do. So she's, she is done when weekend is here. Yeah. So next week I'm working Monday to Wednesday, then I'm off for a couple of days and then I'm working the weekend again. Yeah, I'm working quite a few weekends at the moment, but that car needs to be fixed. So. If you get the chance to do some extra hours, that's what I have to do. And yeah, we are getting rid of, we have two cars. And we're getting rid of one of them. So then we're just gonna have my car for a while. And that means I need to start taking the bus which I don't like, but I don't like spending thousands, no, hundreds of dollars on a car either every month. So sometimes you have to sacrifice the comfort. Jesus, those G's and Q's are really alike. So it's not so much taking the bus. Well, I have to get up earlier in the morning if I need to take the bus to work and get there in time. And it's not so much that's, uh, the problem isn't so much that. It's the thing that there's like quite a few people who need to go to work at the same time. So there's a lot of people on that bus and I hate it. I seriously, seriously hate it. And I hate it when there's annoying, scary people, you know, who just wants to make trouble. And I hate it when there's some drunk shithead jumping on the bus and decide to take a seat next to me yeah yep so i guess it will be the bus now when it's getting cold and stuff and i guess i just i have to start biking to work instead But uh, I have never biked at winter when it's ice and snow, so I don't feel comfortable doing that. And it's freaking cold. I hate freeze. I, ha I, I hate to freeze. Um, I hate to be cold. No, now, now I'm tired. Now I don't know how you say it in English. Jesus. Yeah. That's all, and I know there's a queue there. All right, so let's put that one down. And I should also start doing these, uh, like taking notes for my wooden chats. So I usually, I always record them on Sundays and I go through my week from Monday to Sunday.
here. I should just kind of take some notes so I know what I'm doing. So I have something to talk about. Not that I do that much, so I don't have that much to talk about, but yeah, you get my point. Cute. And I noticed one of those. That's a cue. That one's right. And then there were two of those black. Six, five, seven. The symbol was black, not the drills. Yes, so I don't have much more to tell you guys today. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or if there is anything else you want to share or if there is anything you want me to try out or yeah, want to show you. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.